I'm Darren Bob. Tonight we're hearing from the Arkansas Healthcare Association about this ruling. Five News reporter Micah Wilson's in the studio with us to break down what this means for Arkansas. Micah. Hey, Darren, Erica, Arkansas is not alone in this. A federal judge has blocked the Biden administration from enforcing a coronavirus vaccine mandate on health care workers in nine other states, making that the first legal challenge against the federal vaccine requirement. Monday, a federal judge in Missouri says Congress has no authority to have health care employers require their workers to receive the COVID-19 vaccine under the Center for Medicare and Medical Services rule. It would require that all um, all employees and regularly scheduled contractors would have had to have had at least their first vaccine shot. That deadline was quickly approaching, requiring a shot for health care workers at hospitals like UAMS and state facilities like a DHS and the Arkansas State Hospital by this Friday. But Monday's ruling by the federal judge is not final, only temporary. So there's likely to be an appeal of that order by higher courts as, as high as the, as the U.S. Supreme Court to determine whether or not CMS's authority to issue the rule um, would be uh, valid. Nate Reed with Mitchell's law firm says there's no clear timeline of when action against the injunction will happen, but if it does, he expects it to happen soon. I would expect the preliminary injunction order to be appealed to the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals. Rachel Bunch with the Arkansas Healthcare Association says the ruling is a relief because it will buy them more time and help keep them staffed. We continue to struggle with workforce issues, just like lots of other businesses and industries are. We have a number of employees that um, have not wanted to get the vaccine. They've been hesitant. And while a judge ruled out the CMS requirements, that does not mean COVID-19 vaccine requirements for employees like Mercy and Washington Regional no longer apply. Employers have always had the opportunity to implement a mandate if they if they chose to do so. Now, Attorney General Leslie Rutledge was one of the state leaders who helped block the mandate. And she released a statement about the ruling saying in part, President Biden's illegal CMS vaccine mandate has no place here in, in Arkansas. I will continue to protect Arkansans from having to decide between getting the shot or losing their job. Covering news where you live, Michael Wilson. Five news day. All right, Micah, thanks. Governor Hutchinson also reacting to today's ruling, saying in part vaccine mandates are not the appropriate method to increase our vaccination rates. The decision today shows Arkansas is not alone in this position. Moving now to the forecast, here's a